Detroit, Michigan, Motor City. Two and a half million automobiles are made here every year, not to mention hundreds of prototype vehicles. Troy, New York, 14-year-old Jason Winkler built a prototype of his own. Since he could walk, pretty much, he's been tinkering with all kinds of things. And his ideas go beyond sleeker design and more power. Jason has actually reinvented the wheel and locomotion as we know it. It all started on a drive home from a friend's cottage. We were pulling out of the driveway. Almost immediately, Jason said he had a new idea um, that he wanted to talk about. Dad, I've been thinking about this, like, square real car. Being an engineer, thought, oh boy, here we go. Some crazy idea. It has square wheels. Yeah. It took him a little while to, like, get it into his head. And why don't the wheels just stay all stay flat on the ground? Right? Because all of them are offset. So, like, when the wheel's rotating around, one wheel's up, it'll rotate and push that one down. But he began to explain it, and actually some of it started to make sense. I think, you think we can build one? Yeah. Out of what? The very uh, next day, Jason headed to his father's workshop out back and brainstormed designs. The chassis is just a block of polyethylene machined with some holes and the uh, axles through it. Um, and the wheels themselves are just blocks of polyethylene that have been machined square. The only real special part on it is the little belt that holds it together uh, and causes the wheels to rotate as one. And uh, Jay actually found a, uh, a Kinex motor that we mounted on the top uh, to use to move the weight. Setting the angles of the wheels proved the hardest part. The wheels are all offset by like 22.5 degrees and they're all linked together. So when the weight revolves around, it pushes one flat against the floor which lifts up the one either in front of or next to it. And while it didn't impress his teacher... He gave me like a 74 because he thought I bought it in the store. It did get the attention of Steve Derby, a mechanical engineering professor at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. I didn't think that a car with square wheels could actually go forward. I thought that uh, it would kind of go lump, 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 and. Uh, be very awkward, but to have the rotating mass move over it and have it sort of wobble as it went forward or in reverse was just an amazing time. To me, it was the uh, first real invention I had seen in uh, 20, 30 years of something that was truly novel. And a patent search proved just that. It seems that it's a new locomotion device, the fact that, that the motor is not attached to the wheels to make it move forward. We have a patent on it now, and it's the first patent I've ever patented, and I'm pretty excited about that. Steve Derby was also able to get NASA excited about it. He secured a grant to model Jason's design on a computer with the help of another professor, Kurt Anderson. If one tries to drive it too quickly, you can see, oh, this is catastrophic, it will not work. And so I could have tried heavier weight, longer arm, faster rotation rate, different coefficient of friction. In fact, you'll find that if you tried putting this thing on a sheet of ice, it also doesn't function, that the thing will skate. The team is already in talks with toy companies and is tinkering with better wheel designs. But while it's unlikely that Jason will be replacing his bike for a square wheel car... Yeah, that'd be very cool. Steve Derby is thinking small, really small. Micro-electro-mechanical systems, or MEMS, are invisible devices already in use today. Most of the micro-machines that you see today are such things as an airbag sensor in most cars. It's a very complex little device that measures the g-forces and loading and speed so that you intelligently decide, uh, yes, deploy the airbag or don't bother. Other devices like this fuel pump may one day be used in medical applications. But all the motion of that is, again, in a plane and can only work certain ways. Uh, for the most part, the MEMS world has not really been able to do much locomotion because no one's figured out how to do it yet. But Jason's square wheels aren't connected to the motor. That means the motor can be layered on top of the wheels, making it a leading candidate for miniature movement. That is, if they can figure out the steering and replace the weight. 
Right now we're trying to model um, the effects of using uh, magnets or some other force to pull it down. It might be electric uh, uh, actuation, some kind of static charge to make the thing move. The wheel device would then move and then say carry a sensor. This could be used inside uh, small uh, devices for biomedical applications, for uh, surveillance. So what do Jason's friends think of his invention? <laughs> they don't really know about it. Sometimes I think Jason would like the attention to just go away so he could get back to working on other things and letting his mind kind of wander. And that can only mean good things for Motor City and beyond.